Hello everyone, myself Sumangla Biradar. Today I am going to explain about stresses matrix multiplication. This is one of the technique which is used to find the product of two matrices under using divide and conquer design strategy. So now how actually this technique works? Let's see by considering one example. Take two matrices A and B of size 2 cross 2. Now before finding the solution, first you have to divide the elements of the matrices into subparts like this A00, A01, A10, A11. A00 means 0 row, 0 column, 0 row, 1st column, 1st row, 0 column, 1st row, 1st column. In the same way, you have to divide the elements of the B matrix also. After dividing as a subparts, now you have to find the product of the these two matrices. To, far, to get that one, here are the values we need to find. That is M1, M2, M3 values. To get those values, you have to use this equation. For finding the M1 value, equation is A00 plus A11 into B00 plus B11. A00 means value is 1 plus A11 value is 4. B00 value is 2. B11 value is 2. So now you substitute those values here and you calculate. You will get that is 1 plus 4 it is 5 and 2 plus 2 it is 4. 5 into 4 that is 20. So M1 value is 20 now. In the same way, you have to calculate M2 value using this equation. That is A11 plus A11 into B00. 10 value, it is 3. 11 value, it is 4. B00 value, it is 2. Now, 3 plus 4, it is 7. And into 2, that is 7 into 2, that is 14. So, this is the M2 value. In the same way, you have to calculate M3 m4 value using this equation and m5 m6 and m7 values using this equation after calculating all the values you substitute those values in here after substituting you will get the product of the final matrix now in this way we will get the product of the matrices so now for example if you want to find the product of the matrices using normal normal uh, brute force approach then you have to find the 8 multiplication but if you use the stresses matrix stresses matrix multiplication that product matrix is reduced by 7 that is m7 in m1 to m7 you are multiplying 7 times using single asterisk symbol whereas if you go for the brute force approach then you have to find the 8 times multiplication in this way you are reducing the time complexity of the algorithm so now you have to set up the recurrence relation that is m of n equal to 7 times you are finding the product that's why 7 m and you are dividing the elements into subparts that's why it is n divided by 2 here now you have to find the solution for this one using backward substitution method before that first you have to substitute the n value as a 2k here so now m equal to 2 to the power of k equal to 7 into m into m of 2 to the power of k minus 1 here. If m of 2 to the power of k value is 7 into m of 2 to the power of k minus 1, then m of 2 to the power of k minus value, uh, k minus 1 value becomes what? m of 2 to the power of k minus 2. That is 7 into m of 2 to the power of k minus 2. That is 7 into 7, 7 power m of 2 to the power of k minus 2 here. That is 7 to the power of i m into 2 to the power of k minus i. If it is i, here also power of 7 must be i. So like that we will substitute. If it is i value is k, then this value is also k. So now 7 to the power of k m into 2 to the power of k minus k. k minus k means what? It is 0. 2 to the power of 0 means m1. So, m1 value is 1 now. So, you substitute, if you substitute the m1 value, then you will get the 7 power k. That is, m of 2 to the power of k is equal to 
7k. So now if n value is 2 to the power of k, then what is the value of k now? k is equal to log n here. So now m equal to 7, k value is what it is? Log n here. So now if I take this one in this way, then I will get 7 log 7 here. If you find the log 7 value, you will get the value that is n equal to uh, m of n equal to n power 2 to the power of m m to n to the power of 2.807 which is less than n to the power of 3. So this is how actually stresses matrix multiplication works. Thank you.